Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Hey, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors at Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain bootcamp and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer i got a question about an online bachelor's of software development whether or not it's a good choice to become a software developer so this question is from F firmly and he says my goal is to become a good software developer to achieve this aim i am confused whether i should pursue it through the traditional way of school by majoring in computer science at an accredited university or should I pursue it through online schools by majoring in software development? Like many other students, I am totally confused which one of the two ways should I prefer. Uh, please navigate me to understand which one is better and I look forward to hearing your kind words. So so let, let, me, let me back up and start off with the question of whether or not you should even consider college at all. To, to learn software development, do you need to go to, go to school? Uh, I've got uh, I've got some real in-depth chapters in in my new book called the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. You can check out here, and if you sign up here, you can get some of the chapters for free. You can check them out; they're all, they're also on the blog. I, I'm publishing it for free as well. But I want to give you that resource to make sure that uh, you know, because I'm not going to give as much of an in-depth answer here in the, in the short video, but. But let, let's examine what you're trying to accomplish, right? You're trying to learn software development, probably. Y your aim is to become a, a good software developer, a great software developer, I think you said. And you probably want to get a job, right? That's, that's what I would assume. I think most people want, want to get a job. So what's going to help you to get there as fast as possible, right? So there, you can go down the accredited university traditional path. And actually, a lot of those programs are improving, and they're having to improve because of the pressure put, being put on them by things like boot camps, OK? Uh, or you can go the online route. And a lot of major universities, I, I did this video on online certification programs. And in, in that video, there's online universities, that, or there's traditional brick and mortar universities that have actually started online degree programs that you can go through that are pretty much as good as, or as, or as accredited as the regular programs. They have smaller programs as well. So those are all options as well. But ultimately, what I would say is that you're trying to learn a set of skills, which is software development, right? And, and you're trying to get a job, so what's going to be most effective for doing that? Now, for some people, I think that traditional education, going to school, right, I've, I've said this before, is, is the right approach, especially if you're in a place where a degree is, is certainly important. In different countries, that, that may vary, right? You, there, there's not necessarily as many options in, in some places. In the United States here, I don't think having a degree for software developer is quite as important as it is in some, some areas. What's important is that you know your stuff. You can actually write code and actually do that. So what I've been leaning towards for most people that want to get into the field and want to get started is boot camps lately. I've, I've talked to a lot of developers that have gone through boot camps. I have gone and looked at a lot of the boot camp programs. I, and I, I feel like you know, there's definitely some bad ones out there. Uh, there's definitely some good ones too. You know, check out the the sponsors that are on Simple Programmer. I, I usually talk with a lot of the best in the top boot camps because I, I hear from you guys and you say, "Hey, I graduated from this boot camp and they, they taught me awesome stuff and I got a job and it's everything that you're saying is on Simple Programmer." So that's that's usually how a lot of those sponsors end up end up coming on that are boot camps and that's why I promote them. But I'm very big on the boot camp idea because I like this idea of getting into real work as soon as possible. It, it's sort of like the apprenticeship model, right? If you think about it like in the old days, like a blacksmith, you wouldn't like go and study to become a blacksmith for four years and before you, you touch the hammer and start banging out metal and, and putting iron into the forge. I don't know what blacksmith do, but, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like what you would do is you would work under a blacksmith almost from day one 
actually doing the work, right? And maybe you'd be doing shit work, maybe you'd be doing grunt work at first, but you'd be seeing the practice, you'd be seeing the blacksmithing shop, you'd be hitting things with a hammer, okay, pretty early on. And so that's why I like boot camps is that I want you to be writing code, I want you to be actually developing real stuff as early as possible. So if you can go through a boot camp and then you can get a, a job and you can start writing code, even though you're not great at it, even though you don't have all the depth of knowledge, that, that's, I think that's a great start. Now that doesn't end your career in software development or your learning. Now, now if you go to college, okay, now here, here's some, some benefits as well. Now if you go to college, you've got money because you're, you're already being paid, right? So you're not going into debt. So now you could go and you could pay for an online degree program or you can do a night program and do it part time, right? There's a lot of different options that are available today or maybe you don't need to at all, but you've got those options. Whereas I think that traditional model of, hey, I just graduated high school, I need to go to college for four years and get into debt and all this and then I'll finally get a job. That doesn't make sense to me anymore. Not today, not when education, and information is so free, so widely available. I mean, heck, here on YouTube, how much shit can you learn about software development? Tons of stuff, right? I mean, you could get an entire education. Now, <laughs> the quality level is not necessarily as filtered, right? I mean, it probably is better to go to an online program or courses where, where it's, it's set out for you, but I know plenty of people I did this interview with uh, Sylvester Morgan, right, who, who basically put together his own program, right? You can figure out how to create your own learning path, your own learning plan, and learn on your own. So anyway, that's, that's my answer. I know it doesn't quite answer your question uh, about, uh, about w whether you should do a traditional brick and mortar school or an online program. Honestly, it, it doesn't really matter. I would, I would pick what you think is gonna work the best for you, but do not go into debt okay and and try to try to lean towards what is going to get you writing code and building real applications as soon as possible think the apprenticeship mo model think about a blacksmith you know that's actually working in the shop rather than one that's studying for four years that 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 studying for four years before you actually touch code you know real code re building a real application in the in the real environment doesn't make sense to me at all like i said some college programs are are understanding this and they are adopting or, or adapting so, but uh, but not all so there you go all right i hope that question or that answer to that question helped you if it did uh do me a favor click that subscribe button below if you haven't already and i will talk to you next time take care